I'll jump out the gate and get a wee shot of you pulling out. See if you wipe it in the gate post. I think I'll, I'll, I'll reverse out the... Which gate post do you want me to tumble? I'll take out the one with the front one if you can. <laughs> Now, how do you lift the front? Right on. That's the set for the height for it there. So now, whenever you can enter the road, just watch. You know, we, you maybe lower a bit for the road, but you, that's, a, that's the bowing height. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, you get the, draw, the, P, or the PTO shaft level there. Aye, but she's set, she set in there yard for the right float, you know what I mean? That's the height because that, that's the way they set her. It's 600 mil off the, off the ground. It's not about the shaft and level. Hey, what is this? So, at the moment, you, that's your front mower, is it? Looks like it. So you want to put that on, put that on the float whenever it's time to... Eh? That's your float, float that whenever it's, you're dropping or you put it right forward to float. And far from you need to put her to float. Well that's her push down, but you put her in the float. It floats like the second field, second notch. Get him in. That's float there. You feel the click? Right. You stay in float. That means the mower does its own thing. And this is for maybe you're out of the sword. Yeah. How do you start the BTU of the front? That's the front there? BTU there. That's the back BTU there. And then that's this mower over here. And again, once you once you go to push it, it's it's float right to the front once you get it over. Now we have no check chains. So there's a wee bit of play, we're still getting them sorted, but just whether it's the weather, they're not done. You may find, we'll see what's like in the field, but hopefully we're not going to end up messing a wee bit from that mower to that mower. So if she starts that, we need to stop. <laughs> but I'd bring Andrew here and see where the field is. Right. And bring the camera here. Have enough. Never doubt it, never get in there, never. So, the wires come good, I have no cameraman. Saturday night, I fell out. The giant, put them over into the field and he's just find out you have to reverse watch 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 is there a gate down there? There's not a gate down there. Is the best thing you want, Cut? Aye. You have to look that up and whatnot, like. That's right. That's all there. you have. Aye. It's gone. There's a field next door, he's at it. Aye. Aye. Let me take him out there and help him just for a second to get more footage. Aye, go ahead. Cheers.
Oh, what my heels say about taking their moors in besides somebody else's moors? There's the other loving us. I, cut, I couldn't hide him back. He didn't want to hide the lane behind me. As long as Leslie doesn't mess any bats, John. I know check chains on her. He could mess bats very easy. He's just about unfamiliar here now. He's not too confident at the headland there. He's worried about hitting him coming out. things there that run room at time or two. Oh no, you. Hey, there's a well in this field somewhere. So just an odd block there. Huh? Have you seen the well yet? No. Well, we don't want to slide around that. Hey, where do you get their PTO revs and that thing? How do you know what PTO revs you're doing on there? 890. You can stand about yet. Ah, oh, she's, she's cutting well enough at that. First impressions, Daddy? Oh, some baby. <laughs> First for time you did a front mower, or you ever mowed for Jim? No, I never mowed for Jim. Well, that's a cool, cool job now, I'll tell you about it. There's a thing there now that I'm trying to get used to. You see there, look, she's spinning that wheel. She's spinning the Take your four-wheel drive on for a start. Oh, no, you shouldn't need that. Aye, but that's because of the weight hanging over her. That's why you'll need that. It's just, it's all the weight's hanging out to one side of her. You see, your man left me too little of a headroom there. Um, they're all good. <laughs> no stress. It's not helping you. She's no check chains on her leg. Because you can feel her sway in there a wee bit when you're turning. And the spills. So up there, a, a time or two I went up there and it was all wobbly. You know, I was, I was trying to get the, the woods even. Apparently, if you go with a black guard, line it up with your other row. Trying to teach you little ugly tricks, Daddy. That's pretty much what's happening, all right. <laughs> I'll tell you, boy. Well, you learned the first one coming out the gate. It's easier to reverse on than it is to drive in. Aye. Uh, I didn't think my long figure in that note. <laughs> you see what I mean there? You're getting a wobble. A bend there coming under, under the sun's not helping either, you know. Well, she's bags of power there, but she's fit to... Ah, because things are worth a torque on her leg. She's fit to, fit, to, fit to spin the wheels as well. <laughs> Which is some going. I don't know that you'd have a wild head rig mode to be fit to go out right and back in again. Like, you know, this thing wasn't the sharpest lock in the shed, but even with a set of chapels, it's rare that you'll not have to take a steer out and around. I don't know how he's managing to get by there with such a... Well, a, a, he left a bigger head rig in the other one than he... He only went around once, you see, he'd after for us. So you were meant to cut the head rig probably. 
You nearly should have went around twice. Well, I did. I did. I did go around an extra time or two there. An extra, twice, I think maybe. Normally it's six in the headland, isn't it? What was she like in the corners? Did she miss much on the turn? No, no, oh no. She's she not too bad. Well, <laughs> when you see the rake, man. I'll take that. a look at it and touch it with the lower again if I need to. Like points, Daddy. Well, that's where you learn. That's where you learn. Get yourself used to all that. That's why I'm mowing this bit first. <laughs> to getting used to your best going out of straight there anyway. You can. It's a lovely time of night for farming. It's a hard time of night to drive. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. You were looking good from there anyway. Oh, did they? Yeah. So them two boars front and back are identical, apparently. You know, the same bed, same width. But they've left her, you see where you can see your front and left hand side on that one. They deliberately kept the guard back and all so you can see if you're mowing a headland or going in a tight, tight lane or something that you could actually see the edge of your bed. Uh, and then she's all designed to be pulled from the front. You know, that's why she kind of sits out in front of you so far compared to the other ones. Is there's a frame in there and she's all pulled from where the Emma Cone is. You know, the past right. the guard, you know, past the guard in front of you there. Right. She's all towed from way out in the front. She's not she's not pushed from she, down at the She arm looks she looks like she's pushing. Doesn't she? Aye, but you imagine and has been for years, most mowers are just on the front arms and you're pushing them along. Right. The idea to get the float, to get the So this is some it. this is someone new. Well she's been out a couple of seasons now, but the idea is that she's far better float. You know, she'll never she not dig in on you the same and on the even ground, yeah, that's a pretty even feel like you're not going to really see it, but you know, uh, I can imagine you know if that was just a straight push, like this one here, the back's floating the same. See, there's a wee tiny ram there, actually, just right on it. Where see, when you put Jack her up, Jack her full up, you see, see where she's floating at the minute. Your back uh, one, Jack it up, see where it'll lock now, see where uh, it just that last turn. There's a wee ram there, locks at the place for turning at the headlands. So you're nearly better pulling her all, all the way up, right? So she's locked in. Sorry, I distracted you there. You're all right. I'm learning all the time. Ah, uh, <laughs> wrong lever. I think we suppose would be more intuitive to have your one nearest to you, the front, and the middle one to the back. Possibly, yeah. Uh, indicator. I'll turn that off. What am I doing with the indicator on? <laughs> but I dare say you just have got learned how to do the one whenever you're ready for something. He's open for the well. I have no idea where it is in here. I don't see none. Is that it there? Will she go over that alright, I wonder? You shouldn't find out, Daddy. We don't want to find out the hard way. Lift her up full the height, you see. You look at the front one. Oh, well, I, think, I think we're going to have to come out. She'll not go over that. Ah, I don't take any chances then. That's exactly what I was thinking. And I ring Mr. McHale and says, I thought her up the right in a well here. <laughs> You're not afraid to fill her in the front anyway, Daddy. You have her just to the limit. Do you ever watch the, the videos with Charlie Young? I would be used doing that. Uh, I see him. Uh, he, uh, he has her to the max all the time, everywhere. Uh, yeah, I'm happier now doing this. Well, would you fancy having to look over your left hand shoulder now? Eh? What do you mean, what for? If I set a chapel song? No. <laughs> no, I know, I need to be used to this for a while, I doubt. But that's, that's, some, that's some baby now. I was surprised, I thought that this thing, when you pick up a right hand mower, would lift the leg a lot more. You lift, you pop that corner up. He does say you'd be better hanging half a ton on her. There's a bracket there for hanging weights on. I can tell you it has a lot of weight hanging out to one side. It'll be shouldn't easier in your cross shaft. Yeah, shouldn't fuzz on a route like this, you would think. But on the other hand, if you do go for a cross shaft, it'll not be good.
That's right, and you crop it up there now. That's a good crop of sage, a good clean sage too. No dirt on it at all. She's nipping it off nice too. Aye, but it's still standing, you see. Aye. Funny well, shape, don't feel that, but there's two wings on it. It doesn't really matter, I suppose, for the break. No. You see there, sometimes she takes an ocean that ups out of fourth. Is she? No, but I mean, she must for me stopping at the end or something or other. She oh, she, she, it's like a clutch effect. She, she, she speed matches and stuff. I don't know what gear she picks to move off on, maybe. Ah, uh, uh, I wouldn't take you long to get used to her all the same. Ah, uh, no, you, you, you'd get spoiled there, right? <laughs> Until you'd crash her into some lump of her up, neither. She'd be running around some of the places I was today. Oh, yeah, today. I caught a wee bit this afternoon there. Hay or silage? Silage, I think. It hardly made much hay yet. I bailed fifteen hundred ba or sorry, a dozen hundred bales, actually. Like, like some of the rain baler work, you end up in the back hole of nowhere like. Could you get that in where you can get the, the ten foot squeeze down? Well I cut about shy of three acres in three fields. And there were plenty of rocks about too. Well, that's the one thing I don't want to find out how well she skits over rocks. Best not. No, not when it's a demo. It's different when you own these things. No, it's not. It's worse again than you own. <laughs> this is my first outing from the front PTO as well. Is it? Yes. I feel honoured. <laughs> I fancy getting your. You, I wanted you to experience a front mower, do you see? Uh, what do you think about it? I've never been there before. You know, if you wanted to buy one for her, Daddy, you know, we could leave her in the garden here all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, th you think, oh, oh, you think McHale would buy, it, would sell you one or two? I'm sure they would sell us one, surely, but I couldn't enjoy quite justified myself now. She'd be a handful with uh, the jailed boar on the front door, trying to get in places. Uh, even with the front mower in her own, she'd be a handful of places get places getting in. You know what I mean? She's that low. Ah. Uh, How would you walk That's to say you hit her reverse on most. Aye, uh, but if you have a lane. You drive by the gate. Uh, you're caught. You're yeah, caught yeah. reverse. You need to head room. That's true. You just had a be selective, Daddy. Do you still go watch the, the eight foot class? Not that much, no. But she's still going and she's still there. Is there any places you get sent to with eight foot because you can get in there before I can? Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. I've never been really caught that way anymore. But but uh, there's places, there's times whenever she has a wee job to do all right. These things, I didn't realize it until they told me they were setting them up. There's a lever on the side of them that you can, you can change the speed of your conditioner to be less aggressive and you can turn it right off. You can turn the... How, how, would, how would you work with it? She must drop it on below the conditioner. The conditioner must nearly pack it up. As it comes off the bed. Uh, that's for saying, how could you work without it? Well, that's what I mean. If you turn it off, then she must not pack it up. It must slip on below her. Uh, well, we turn it off as far as see. <laughs> I do not like video mowers. You feel the danger? The noise of them. I mean, video and barrier. It, it, it is a... Uh, Doubles, I guess. And he went, come down the field. And there's a rough field button I could set up for him to come down the next time, and he never come back. That's sorry, must something must have happened. He's definitely not coming back. Went up the field, and she'd knock the blade off and threw the sidewall of the tire. And I thought, ever since that, I thought I could have been through the side of my head. Which <laughs> definitely, that is definitely something to be to be wary of. All right. I don't do my normal shots that I do with mowers. Don't like it at all. See, even out muck spreaders. I mean, the boy in England telling me, he says, just you be careful standing or driving too close to them. He says, I've seen a block been fired 60 feet. That's right, too. Uh, uh, you know what? If you're walking with a rotor spreader <laughs> near somebody's nice new house, you have to keep very far back. Farther than you think. 
We should look at that boys, I'm getting used to that. Just whenever I'm nearly finished. I think that's it. It's all over. The pollen not coming off the grass there, you've a nice shiny green now for now. Oh, uh. Was there a bit of shiny green on her whenever oh, she... Uh. It was bent. They washed her whenever they got the yard, they wanted a power washer, so... I was only happy to supply. I needed to get you paid for your power washer, wouldn't I? Yep. Yeah. Did, did you not, my solicitor, not talk to you? This bit of your flummox may have time or two. Yes. There's a the good stuff falling off her now. I'd be sneezing for the next hour. That uh, window open. Sir. There you have it, Leslie's first big day at the grass, it's all over. Oh, Mr Clyde's going for the fancy shots here, he's doing cameraman. Oh. Mr Clyde's going to get the sack after the <laughs> We've had issues. Oh, oh, that's not so good. I'm glad you're smiling. It's grand. It'll be something. It's alright because I know that Alan's going to mow grass very, very soon and then we'll get an hour video made. Where's he going? He's, he's wild fawn is starting in the high gear. It's madness. What do you see? That. Almost hanging her. He's getting the feel over there at the end. Oh, it'll take me a minute or two to get. Okay. You used to it now. He's used mowing though. He's definitely the only thing that's catching him was the spills. What were you at today? I was playing with flaming calves and trying to finish off Benson. I'm not having much success with any of it. Then boys like you put notions in my head at the demo and <laughs> trying to get people lined up and harvester not ready and ah. Is she not ready? Well, I thought she, you had all the bits on her. She's ready but she's not ready. She's a couple of hours grazing and a couple of other wee bits and well, Paul says the machine's ready. He's a good six hours. He has to wash the windows and mess about with silly things. Well, I'll come yet, Alan. Aye. It's only the, like, the second week it's in. I had planned to cut the first week of May this year at all or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> when the sun was shining. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the grand.